So I ran into a few questions about uh, WPCLI, when would you use it, how would you use it, that sort of thing. And in the process, I thought it would be fair to share how I spin up my development environments. So I actually, this is not how I used to do it, but I have a, uh, a specific um, GitHub repository with a Docker Compose uh, setup that you guys can use as well. And I'll, I'll share the URL shortly. Uh, but essentially what I do is I, I clone a, a JIT repository to, for example, my project. And then I go to my project. And then if you take a look in here, what you'll see is it's pretty simple, right? It's just a Docker Compose file. Uh, all I need to do is to, this will actually, quote unquote, install WordPress um, along with its underlying operating system, in this case is Debian, uh, along with MySQL. And uh, uh, I put in, because a lot of people like it, although I don't, uh, PHP my uh, admin into this as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get it going here. All I do is run uh, Docker Compose up. Uh, and then that that will actually bring up an, uh, an interactive console, but I'm going to detach from it. And there we go. As you can see here, it's starting up my project database, WordPress, and PHP my admin, which is great. Now, if I run a Docker PS, it will show me that I've got these up and running. Um, and this is kind of an interesting or important container ID here that we can use to uh, get into our um, particular container. Um, but let's uh, let's go ahead and come over and take a look at you know what 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 came up here right and it's, it might take another minute here. Now this is actually, as you can see, it's installed WordPress and we obviously have a database running behind it and I've got it and always initialized with these plugins because I pretty much always use these. Um, and then I can use WPCLI to add in the ones that I will use depending upon the specific project. Um, but I now have an up and running uh, WordPress website. So it's obviously very, very simple. I don't have even have, I think, a, I don't even remember what theme I have going here, but, um, and I can, like I say, I use WPCLI scripts to manage that. So the first thing this depends on is, is you've got to have Docker installed. So if you're on Windows, you you know, you basically go here. Um, you want Docker for Windows, and specifically you want the desktop version, the community edition. You don't need the enterprise or anything you're going to pay for here. For Mac, same kind of thing. Uh, you need to download and install this. You don't really need to know anything about Docker, uh, although it can help when you want to do certain things. But at the end of the day, you really just want to do exactly what I just showed you. And in case you're wondering, how, how can I catch up with all that? Um, I've got a, a, a repository here. Mike Sale is my name. And uh, it's under Quick WP. Very, very simple. You can... Um, uh, grab it from here, and I give you specific instructions about what you need to install, uh, how to basically create a new project, how to bring it up, um, all the access is there. This is all very local host. It allows you to do all the development you need, all the, um, the design that you need without having to get fancy or pay for something off-site. And you can get a direct um, uh, command line into the container like you were SSHing into a machine. And you can run WPCLI from there. And the app directory contains your actual WordPress install. So if we go back to here, if we look at what was there before, uh, you'll notice that you know going back up here, it does not show these directories that have been created. But if you, for example, go right now into the app directory, what you'll see is this, here's your WordPress install. It's, uh, it's there and you can add files here this is not where it's running from. It's a shared file system. It's essentially saying, hey, I'm going to use the local file system, but my container is going to run it in a separate file system. Um, that is, well, it's not actually separate. It's shared. So you can go ahead and uh, 
for example, install plugins directly into the WP content uh, piece, you can start to do your um, uh, your development of your theme or your child theme and put it right into here, and it will actually end up popping up into here. Um, but I, I thought that was something very useful that people could could pick up and understand pretty quickly. And all you need to do to understand it or to get it working is you just have to have JIT and Docker installed, get Docker running, run this command, and boom, you've got a new WordPress environment with some basic plugins. Now you're saying, well, <laughs> wait a minute, I don't use Central Color Palette. Um, all you got to do is go in and change that um, that uh, uh, Docker Compose.yml and just replace or remove or add lines here that actually have the plugins that you use. Um, that's it. Very, very simple, very easy, um, very quick, as you can tell. I can, if I want to test something new, I could just spin up a new container with WordPress and uh, run my install and, uh, or like, you know, put in a, a new plugin and see, does this work? That sort of thing. All works from there. I can also use, um, you know, any of the, the modern plugins, if you're going to do updraft or anything like that. Uh, to migrate a site, you can migrate a site right into your um, your this instance as well. So, and then do all of your development. This is persistent. So, uh, when you're done, you're done with your container, and you want to shut down, or you're done with your container for the day, or you want to switch to a different project. All you do is uh, Docker compose down, and that actually shuts it down and makes your machine probably a little bit faster. Uh, you do need four gig of RAM in order for this to even function. Um, so you you're, you can't do this with a, a a little tiny machine. But I I don't have a little tiny machine. So um, th by the way, this is Docker here, and uh, you will need to sign up for an account. But it's nothing. Um, and that's about it. Thanks, folks. Bye.